So this is going to be the first video in a series probably of the design, the build up of this interface that I've been banging on about. So what I'm trying to do is get people involved with the design of this rather than just making it up as I go along and then releasing this pro product as a finished product why not involve you guys? Get involved, make a comment and tell me what it is that you want to see um, what annoys you about other interfaces um, are there any features that you'd really like to see? Is there anything that you'd like curing? Do you have a problem that you need fixing? It's not too late. Problems can be fixed. Things which are difficult can be made easy. So if you guys uh, want to get involved and there's, there's something on your mind, write it down in the comments. Let me know. Let everybody else see. And we'll have a conversation about it. Um, okay, so other than that, let's see what trouble I've been getting up to over the past week. What I've done is I've ordered all the parts I need to make the first prototype here, apart from obviously the uh, printed circuit board. Uh, that's going to be part of the you know total final design. Um, I'm still sort of receiving emails from people telling me well, voting one way or the other as to certain features that they'd like. So, in the meantime, whilst I'm, I'm just making up my mind about how the, the final design for this is, is going to rock, um, I've just built this up. Now, what this is, is the USB hub. Um, it's very similar to all the other chi cheap Chinese hubs that you will have seen. Um, here you go. Here's a... An example of, of one of these sorts of things. Um, you can see inside the uh, brown circuit board that they put in there, and there's the uh, you know the green underlay that you can see. You know, not not a big deal. It's just a four-way USB hub. Um, quite an easy thing to make up, really. So what I've done is I've ordered the uh, chip and uh, a conversion board. Uh, let me see here. So, here is the uh, package. And we've got a little nest of these things. Um, they're the actual USB chips. It's a Texas Instruments part, this. And what I've done is I've ordered myself a, a selection of uh, conversion boards like this from various different places and it just converts it from whatever form factor it is usually up to a 2.54 millimeter pin pitch just to make it a little bit easier to work with um, so I've soldered my chip here onto uh, one of these little uh, breakout boards and then I've put it onto some Vera boards so that I can put some of the uh, external passives that are required to make it work so, for instance, uh, in order for this to run, it needs a crystal resonator. Um, so, I've ordered a pack of them. You can see the uh, crystal just there on the far side. Um, so, that's that's what I've been working on over the over the past couple of days. Is just getting this thing flying. It has taken a bit of tweaking. Uh, the the manufacturer's recommended. Uh, capacitance levels on the lines for the uh, for the crystal there don't work on VeraBoard uh, because VeraBoard isn't exactly ideal um, so I've actually had to remove that which is a little bit disappointing uh, but what I've done here is just lashed together a, a single USB socket here so that I can plug anything in just to check various different devices and then here is a USB sound card um, the reason these cables run off here to, to these two clamps here is this is an external 5 volt power supply and these two here is uh, a 3.3 volt power supply. This uh, chip runs on 3.3 uh, volts so the two power supplies have to be uh, separate there. So um, if I fire these uh, power supplies up obviously nothing happens to begin with but 
if I plug the device into the computer here, we can hear Windows, uh, you know, give you the alert time that it's fired up. And uh, I guess what might be best for me to use as an example of this thing working is I've got a really cheap, nasty uh, USB mouse here. I'm just going to plug that into the port. I will. Uh, we'll see if this works. Yay! We heard it. Okay, right. Bear with us here. I mean, the the LED coming out of the bottom is uh, you know no great shakes. Um, a USB mouse will do that if it's provided with the power it needs, so that's not really an indication of uh, connectivity there. However, I'll just move the uh, camera, bear with us here. Okay, and what we're looking at is the design for this interface, but as you can see, we can uh, you know bring various things up and down here so yep the mouse is working so what does that tell us it tells us the hub is indeed working which is obviously what we were after here so that's that working which is uh, just great um, this was the USB to serial conversion stage um, but it's uh, proven to be a little bit awkward to implement this one so I've decided to uh, not bother with that and instead let me see here I've got these ones which are uh, a tiny little shrink small outline package which is um, going to fit on this board here so that's going to be the USB to serial conversion and then here is the uh, USB sound card, um, which is obviously derived from one of these boards. And here we are, I've got the packet for the uh, chip there, the USB uh, audio codec. Um, okay, so over the next coming days, I'll, I'll throw those together and they will be um, bootstrapped onto the back of the USB hub and hopefully we can get something uh, rolling here. One of the things that I want to do is just mostly have a play with the USB to serial side of it just to make sure that um, certain logic levels will be possible through this and I also want to see with the totally built up project what kind of current we're looking at drawing from a, a single USB line. I'm of the opinion I'm starting to push my luck with uh, USB to standard stuff so I guess we will see. Okay, I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching.